Hi, I'm Satori. I got started in modeling uh, through doing special effects and just generally just doing makeup. Well, I mostly did special effects, but I did a little bit of high fashion, um, some airbrush work, that sort of thing. Well, I one day went to audition to do makeup for a movie, and they had already found someone, but through that I met an amazing photographer named Katie Damien, who uh, I did a series of shoots with, and it just really seemed to work for me, and I ran with it. Um, I've been modeling on and off for about eight years, um, though in total I'd say I've only done maybe like 30 to 50 shoots. <laughs> I, as far as shoots go, I really love doing anything that's emotionally evocative, anything out in nature. Um, I'm interested in non-erotic fetish work, the macabre, uh, artistic things, uh, including artistic nudes, implied. I don't know, I find joy in a lot of it, and um, I even enjoy doing like really done up stuff like glamour or stuff in nature that's a lot more uh, simple and elegant. So I don't know, I, I find a different joy in all of it. Something I'd like to do that I haven't done in modeling is probably uh, to do some like spokesmodel work and uh, do some stuff kind of in-person modeling. I'd really like to do some work in abandoned buildings, stuff that's uh, juxtaposing uh, like beauty and vitality with uh, decay and squalor. <laughs> to new models out there, I would say Trust your gut. If, um, if something feels wrong, don't do it. And don't judge yourself if you feel like you have to maintain a boundary. I think that's really important to know because um, it's just like vital to protecting both your professionality and your self-worth. First of all, like how natural or how like glammed up um, but also like what colors are we going to be using, where are we going to be, um, and then I'll try to like do complementary colors to where we're going to be like, um, I went for like a rosyish, coralish thing on my cheeks like because I figured there'd be a lot of green around, um, and I'm doing my uh, mascara a lot less natural than I would, or a lot more natural than I would usually do. Um, just because like, I don't know, usually I would um, do it kind of like over the top for most things, but I figured like since we're going to be out in nature, since it's going to be a little bit like minimalist in some ways, to kind of like work with that.